Hello everyone, hope you're all well. It's Monday morning again. Another ruddy bloody week. When are we going to resolve all these problems? New Earth dot land, that's where we're going to resolve them. And, um, you know, you can join along. Um, absolutely. Connect, share, support, right? The whole point is to decommodify shelter energy, food and water. Let's talk about, though, in this video, why school was actually psychological abuse, right? This is a covert plan to terrestrialize the human mind, right? And it's done like this. It's done through putting us into this elementary system, right? Fracturing the mind into elements and then rendering it incapable of comprehending the whole, comprehending the mystery, comprehending your own existence, right? Philosophy is dead, unfortunately, in today's world. And that's really what's given rise to a lot of these problems that we see in the world, like people aren't capable of thinking for themselves. And so therefore, as Albert Einstein said, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. So school is very much a conspiracy to keep humanity in a unenlightened state of consciousness. And it does it by throwing you into these cells. You know, like if you think of the plan of a school, you've got to go there um, from 9 a.m. to like 3 p.m. or whatever time that you went to school uh, to and from. And you're getting thrown around, like, sort of like Pavlov's dog. It's, it's sort of like, buzz, the bell rings, buzz, you're there, and then buzz, and now you're over there. Now, and you're getting, you know, you're learning about maths, now you're learning about science, and now you're learning about RS. Now you're learning some French. Now you're learning some German. And now you're learning uh, biology. Like, there's no cohesion, right? The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, as Socrates said. So there's no cohesion here. And so therefore, there's no, you know, correspondingly, biologically, there's no um, EEG coherence, right? There's no harmony. And so what we need to do is we need to approach this more holistically. And that can only really start with you as the individuated soul in this life. And like I've said in other videos, it's not really about the intellect, which is very much a masculine approach. So the whole thing is to create a left brain prisoner. You know, if you notice, like a lot of what we were learning, in fact, everything is all about us and our ability to process outside information. So this is known as convergent thinking, right? So the data is out there. How good are you at assimilating, remembering, and regurgitating that onto a piece of paper? And if you're really good at that, they will incentivize that and reward you on that, okay? So that's the carrot, right, for success. And you feel good and it flatters the ego. So it's all about restricting the higher chakras in Solomon's temple and pulling you down here into the lower chakras where you're getting constantly rewarded and this dopamine hit. Oh, well done, Adam. Oh, thank you. Um, and, it, you know, it's, it's constant like this. And that plays out, of course, into society by and large. And the reason we have all these problems is simply because we don't have the consciousness to even acknowledge them because they're outside of our sphere of awareness. I mean, we know that they exist, things like poverty uh, and slavery, but no one seemingly cares. So we have to generate true care. And, of course, education absolutely does not do that. It doesn't even teach us the basic... Um, essential skills of life like you know how do you construct shelter how do you um you know grow your own food and look after yourself like, all of these things are just left at the door you know you're not allowed to learn you know anything that's self-empowering and creates a sovereign uh, beings that we are um you're not allowed to go there so instead it's all about this needless information you know why we are all absolutely unique why are we having to all go through the same conveyor belt right this sort of template for society, which is all ultimately getting us to build our own prison without us actually knowing that that's what we're doing. Okay, that's really like they want you to to be able to perform and operate the computer like a monkey, but they don't want you to have the divine intelligence that they are all acquiring through their mysticism, through their esoteric true um, teachings, you know, which have come to us in many different traditions. But you know, namely the Kabbalah, uh, namely. Um, Freemasonry, Rosicrucianism, like uh, esoteric Hinduism, uh, the Upanishads, Vedic texts, and, and some aspects of Buddhism, and of course Gnosticism, occult Christianity. All of this, they just kept it for themselves, so, you know, because knowledge is power, they know that. The whole thing is about hierarchical structure. And so these teachers who we were brainwashed by were also brainwashed themselves, and because they haven't like re re uh, lifted themselves out of the lower chakras, they're still trying to get off on telling you this is the way it is listen shut up boy sit down 
right? And so they're still trapped like these embryonic children, even though they're in adults' bodies, teaching these things that they have simply learned from school and they, they continue the program. And so we stay in the matrix in that way, unfortunately. And that's gonna keep going on and on and on and on until we expanded awareness, but we can only do that when we start spending more time in our own, when we start getting in touch with the mental faculties of the right brain hemisphere, with the sacred feminine. And then once we do that, we can actually achieve the chemical wedding, we can achieve uh, Christ consciousness, but we can raise the Kundalini and we can pierce the illusion of matter and all these sort of exotic concepts that I talk about. Um, but they're not really that exotic. They're absolutely a automatic uh, natural process. Like I feel like we're actually born with this um, encoded in our DNA. It's just simply like a flower. We're meant to blossom. But the whole point of education is to uh, actually wilt and restrict uh, the mind. And it's sort of like a you know, religion. And if you think of uh, the word religion etymologically, I think it's like religare, which is to like rebind. So I feel like that is, in an esoteric sense, to rebind the mind with matter, to refrain, to tie fast, to hold back, to thwart from forward progress. And so therefore it's like a arrested development. That's really what the whole system, you know, we call it education, but really it's just indoctrination by definition because we haven't been taught to think. We've been taught what to think, right? This is a profound difference. And so... The only way out of this is for us to now see that this is the case. We have been psychologically manipulated to remain enslaved to this insane socio-economic model. And that's why these problems are so stubborn and persistent in society, because we don't yet have the consciousness uh, conceived to actually be able to address and the desire, the true care to deal with this. Okay. Um, and actually, on that note, they have these ceremonies called the cremation of care, if you're interested in Bohemian Grave and some of these sort of things. So I feel like that is ultimately what, um, what education does. It cremates care. So no one gives a shit, you know. So people say they care, but actually, you know, really, you know that you care when you act. It's like when you're in a relationship with someone, right? They say this, and they say that. But if there's no action to follow up with what they're doing, then you know them and they're probably not that into you. So it's an interesting thing psychologically and uh, ultimately I just wanted to convey some simple you know, concepts in this video about this notion that indeed we have, this is the case unfortunately, we have been brainwashed and psychologically manipulated by you know, what you might call the deep state, right? By the globalists who have had an agenda for the entirety of human history. It's not a recent thing. It's something that goes way back. And we're just you know, in this situation at the moment where it's becoming more and more obvious Okay. There's still a lot of people are in the coma, but more and more people are awakening uh, you know, by the day, hopefully. And hopefully we can get to a critical mass where we can start to liberate ourselves. Because like I've said, freedom is the foundation through which we can solve all of these problems. And freedom is the foundation from which we can actually spend time on our own. Go and read a book that we want to read. Do what we want to do. Be free to move around this planet. Be free to go and spend a day on a beach. Right? It's, it's all this nose to the grindstone, you see. It's all this slave to the wage, to, to the rat race. It's the, you know contracted state of awareness that we might think of as the ego being stimulated it's looking at the screens all of this right is absurd you know, you know you're surrounded by an infinite void and yet we're staring at screens that are less than uh, half a meter from our faces you know it's, it's sort of a very bizarre situation that we live in but anyway um if you can um you know, resonate with this message of true freedom in the world which is ultimately what we're trying to do here at new earth uh, do you visit newearth.land it's the website you can see the why the what how the when so on and so forth um, I think I need to stop saying so on and so forth quite so often um, and you know like we can only resolve this when we come together you know and so like I said um, taxation um, is theft what we need to do is crowdsourcing which is 21st century taxation right because it's truly transparent optional democratic okay we need to do what the government should have been doing all the time but never will we need to realize that we are the ones who've been waiting for we are the people we are the power we are absolutely um the people who are going to change these issues in the world okay it's not coming from the government there are no politicians nor petitions required we are the power let's be the power and uh, let's visit newearth.land subscribe if you can uh donate and let's sort of uh you know start to reclaim our land and holding the common to dilute power and fulfill our immediate physiological needs through the design of these autonomous co-housing projects, which you can check out at newearth.land. Anyway, that's enough from me for now. Thanks very much for watching this video.